sir. Uh, we are pleased to welcome you to Pondicherry. Can you tell a few words about you? Um, I'm Piyush. I'm, an, I'm, I'm from Salem. So Salem and Dharmapuri. The farm is in Dharmapuri. One farm is in Salem. So I'm a farmer. I, 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 I wouldn't call myself an activist, but I'm trying to be one activist. And I'm a green entrepreneur. So I, I, I can win a group called Salem Citizens Forum in Salem. And I also run a cooperative forest where we are, we are creating a forest from wasted land. Sir, we know that you are interested in social work. How have you got the interest and uh, can you tell about Salem Citizen Forum? Uh, first, it, it's not social work. Uh, what we are doing is common sense. So I am basically inspired with common sense. Uh, we all are dependent on water and air, without which our existence is not possible on this earth. Even for one second, I, me or you cannot live without air or without air we cannot live. And without water, in a single day, it's very difficult to like go through food, water. So it comes in a series. So now, when we are not able to live without air, we are not able to live without water, we are not able, able to live without food, the quality and quantity, both are important. What kind of quality of air is available to us? and how much is available to us would determine the quality of our lives. So I think so what I am doing is basically common sense. And Salem Citizens, in Salem, Salem Citizens Forum was started in 2010. Uh, I, uh, in 2010, I was jailed for a case uh, in sedition. We have been fighting against several corporates around Salem. Uh, we have Jindals, we have Kimpla Sanmar, we have magnesite mining companies, we have bauxite mining companies. So we have been fighting against them, and I don't know as a result of it, but still, uh, when I was jailed uh, under sedition, uh, it was my good luck that I got bail within 23 days. So then people of Salem uh, came and asked what, what is happening, what are you doing? So there was a lot of interest, I suppose, among the urban populace. So then Salem Citizens Forum came into being. We started to adopt lakes, water bodies in Salem. Uh, what started as a group against tree felling uh, went on to take water bodies and plant a lot of trees there. And we, have, we, have, we are going to adopt our sixth water body now. In the five years that we have been working, in three water bodies our work is almost like complete. Two water bodies are being pending because our collector is not cooperating. The previous collector was not cooperating with us. So we are asked for the sixth water body. And uh, Salem Citizens Forum has come a long way around. Being a Rajasthani, have you got interest in Tamil Nadu? No, I was born and brought up in Tamil Nadu. I wouldn't call myself Rajasthani or Tamil. I, in fact, my my original name, especially in the police records and court records, is Pius Setia. Setia is a family name, so I've removed that family name. I I call myself as Pius Manush. Manush means human being. So I believe in humanity. And if humanity prevails, I think so these boundaries of Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu will all go off. But I was born and brought up in Salem, so my, uh, my commitment is more towards it. You will be a perfect role model for young generation. What are your advices for the next generation? I don't know if I will be a perfect role model, but, but yes. Uh, we have been doing a lot of work that has been inspiring youth and a lot of youth have rallied around, around us. And it's really inspiring to see that their energy, there's so much of energy lying in youth. Now, a few things very careful that the youth have to be about is, uh, the biggest problem in our country is the understanding of politics. We really do not understand of, suddenly if I ask you a question like, who is a terrorist? The, the first thing that comes to our mind is Osama bin Laden. George Bush does not come to our mind. Obama does not come to our mind. Narendra Modi does not come to our mind. So it's, it's, a, it's a big issue, it's a big issue. Our mindset is tuned in such a way and how our mindset is being tuned by the media, how it is being tuned by our education system, has to be carefully observed by our youth. And once they see the other side of the coin, what is, they research a little more. They understand the way that we dress, the way we behave, the way we react to situations, the way we aspire. If they really have a deeper understanding of it, it will be really very good. So they need to research more. One, And they should not buy into things. Because consumerism is what is pushing this world to the brink. People want us to be more consumerist, want us to earn more money and spend more money. But, but, but this debit, this debt 
that the the cycle of debt has to be broken sustainability uh, environment sustainability sustainable development all these are words that should be commonly understood by the youth for a very simple reason that if there are government servants government servants do not have the fear of losing their job even if they do not do their job the politicians have no fear of going to the prison even if they are misrepresenting people they should be representing people why is it because they are not answerable to people people do not question them the day we start questioning them only the day we start questioning them things are going to change or mulla mari illa or mosamana ala kudum even if you take a bad person and make him a elected representative you can reform him if the society is vigilant if situations around him would be asking him a question keeping a watch on him but if you keep a good person in a good on the on a powerful position and we do not ask him question he will also get corrupted so the answer to it is youth have to be vigilant that is where the youth of, role of the youth comes into play we need to create a system create circumstances for people where politics becomes unprofitable government job becomes public service what it's supposed to be government service means public service so until we don't create it things are not going to change so people expecting that someone will come and reform things for us that's not never going to happen we all need to take charge create a vigilant society and that vigilant society can only be created by youth and once they grow as they grow older there's no old age if you are vigilant youth you will also be a vigilant old man so this will continue what are your future contribution for uh, pondicherry uh, we have we have started groups around the state uh, especially in salem kadalur various places with limited or uh, with limited success where communities are th- are thought to how to monitor the environment where the corporates for profit we could ensure that for profit they do not ruin our lives profit earning is their right but not at the cost of our health not at the cost of our water not at the cost of our soil so we would surely ensure that we are going to work with the youth here and ensure that they monitor the environment around here which is being severely affected by corporate greed number 1 number 2 our lake restoration work has been very pioneering in salem so i have a lot to learn from here also and we have a lot to contribute also so we'll see how these partnerships could take on and would help the water body restoration in pondicherry well we the next future generation to take care of a society as well we are taking lot from society but we are less keen to repay it to it and the liability towards it is keep on increasing we need to be a vigilant social youth thank you for watching tv pondicherry